yeah, definitely feeling a lot more settled in. You know, got to know the guys really well and um, the coaching staff, pitching department, and uh, just able to go about my routine every day. So, you know, definitely got my feet uh, underneath me. How do you feel about that first outing now that you've had a couple days to digest it with this coaching staff as well? Yeah, you know, it was definitely not the star I wanted. Um, you know, I think I could have done a lot better job, you know, but, you know, that's the way the game goes sometimes. Um, you know, it was just it was a hectic day, crazy day, but, again, I'm not going to make any excuses for it. just got to pitch better, but I learned from it, and I am uh, really look forward to, to uh, tomorrow. Over the last like eight to ten outings you had in Miami, you seem to turn a corner and find and find better results. I mean, when you just look at those those outings, what really worked in those compared to maybe earlier in the season? Yeah, I think just finding uh, where my strengths are. Um, I think meaningless walks really killed me um, earlier in the year. Uh, really attacking the zone with all my stuff and really just not being predictable. I think those two things have uh, really helped me the last. 11 starts or so. Not predictable. What, is, what does that look like for you? I mean, what, what, what kind of pitch mix and, and maybe location variance do you try to lean in on it to separate? Yeah, really just throwing off speed pitches and fastball counts and um, fastball counts and off speed uh, and off speed counts. Just kind of mixing and matching uh, up, down, and out using the, the whole zone instead of, you know, specific parts of the zone that you know batters can eliminate and just picking out one specific pitch how useful can a change of scenery be even mentally for you oh it's it's huge you know it's something that i've wanted for a long time and i mean we had a really good last year with miami and unfortunately it didn't go the way we all wanted it to but you know being on the other side and being with a a club that's uh, really uh, competing for a pennant i'm I'm really, really excited and really pumped for the for the last two months of the regular season. What did you think when the trade happened? And had you been kind of like following things in the week or two leading up to it? Did you have an inkling it was coming? To be completely honest, like two weeks out, I'm like, I don't think it's really going to happen. Um, and as it got closer, started hearing stuff, and like, it's a pretty good chance that it does happen. So I got to be prepared. And of course, I I heard some things about some teams that were interested, and then a uh, I got a call from the GM and said I was going to Baltimore and um, was really excited about it. Had a big smile on my face as soon as I heard it, so um, I was really excited about it. So when you say you maybe wanted a change of scenery, is that something you communicate with with Miami, or do you keep that kind of internally? I mean, how does that how does that go? Yeah, I just kept it internally. You know, I just try to do my job and keep my head down and uh, do my best to to win every single day. And I mean, if it works out, it works out. Um, you know. Guy's got a bigger plan for me at the end of the day, and I just leave it up to him. And um, and you know, here I am today. How do you feel about the fit with this ball club for you? I mean, Camden Yards is a pretty fun place to play for lefties. Yeah, I'm really excited. You know, I went from a, a graveyard in Miami to a pretty good pitcher's park in Camden Yards, and went there a couple of years ago. And I really enjoyed the ballpark. I think that was right before they moved the fence back in, in left field. So. Really looking forward to it. The fan base seems like they're very passionate about their Orioles, so you know I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. What are your thoughts on working with the O's pitching development group and pitching coaches? And have they already suggested some things they think will be good long term for you? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's definitely um, the information is a lot more than what I'm used to in a good way. Um, just their ability to break things down and show me what I was doing right when I was going really well and uh, where I'm at now and how I can get back to being the guy I know I can be. Um, and, you know, I was really pumped uh, about that, you know, just their their tools and their knowledge that they have for me um, just leading up to next two months and the two years that I'm here. You know, I'm, I'm really excited about that. Does that, does that manifest itself better this start and kind of the rush job the last one was? Yeah, for sure. I definitely think there's some of that. Um, you know, it's again, didn't want that type of start, but you know, just everything that was leading up to that day, it was, it was a tough one. But you know, you got to move on and got the got the information that I needed and been working on some stuff. So really, really uh, pumped and excited for tomorrow. Is that feedback more pitch mix related or mechanical or a little bit of both? Definitely a little bit of both. Um, looking back at mechanics from a couple of years ago, um, and really just seeing what I was doing well in those mechanics and kind of what I've gone away from, I guess, just naturally. Um, and when I've been dealing with some injuries as well, 
Um, so I think it's uh, minor adjustments that are going to take time, but you know, just knowing that I uh, have a plan to go about it, I'm really, really excited about it. Do, do you mind diving into what are some of those minor adjustments when it comes to mechanics? Yeah, really, just like the my front, my lead leg block um, of kind of rolling over my front foot instead of using the ground to kind of push back into my body. Um, I guess in simple terms, my lead leg wasn't straightening out through the delivery, it's being more bent. So it's something that I've been, been working on and trying to feel. So it's been a while since I've had that feeling. So go at it every day and just uh, get better each and every day. When you were kind of rolling in those last eight or nine starts before the trade, what was going well for you? Um, like I mentioned earlier, the walks, um, really just trying to attack the strike zone. Um, using all my pitches and all sorts of counts um, and really just being aggressive. Um, at the end of the day, I just try to keep it simple. Uh, hitting is really hard to do. So if I can attack the strike zone with my stuff, um, I'll usually uh, turn out pretty good.